what you can do with the 60 gig PS3 hard drive that you get as support is you can fit it into a hard drive enclosure. You can get one from eBay, eBuy, or Dabs. They cost around 10 to 11 pounds. You can get it for five pounds as well. I got mine from eBay. It's a Samsung Olymp Olympic uh, Beijing Olympics or something like that. It cost around 11 pounds. And you just put the SATA hard drive into enclosure. You can use it for music files, MP3s, pictures, all the, all that kind of stuff. You cannot use it for game data. This is just to store media stuff. So I don't even need to media stream all my data from my PC anymore. So I'm going to install my enclosure and right what now. What I've done now is I've used my old 60 GB PS3 hard drive and I've installed it into my new enclosure and I've formatted it to FAT32 using a program called Swiss Knife version 3 you can get it from download.com and it will format your external enclosure for you into FAT32 which is which is only what the PS3 will recognize if you do not format it to FAT32 it won't be recognized in Windows XP or Vista so you need to use this program in order to use it on your PS3. So what else I have done is I've purchased a USB hub and the reason being is that because the PS3 only has four USB ports if I had just plugged in this external enclosure into my PS3 without a USB hub I would have used all, well, almost all of my USB ports so I've got this and I have more you no know, USB port hubs to put more stuff in there. So yeah, this what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some music videos and some MP3s and we're going to all test it onto the PS3. So let's do that. Okay, once you have formatted the enclosure to FAT32, you need to create three folders onto the hard drive. You need to create one folder called music, capital letters one folder called picture not pictures picture and another folder called video and what you need to do is you create these folders the reason being is because the ps3 reads these folders and if you don't put these folders you have to put triangle display all each time you want to access the files so this is a much more e easy and quicker way to do it so i'm going to put some videos onto my new SATA hard drive and just drag and drop everything into here, like so. Copy everything, it's about 10 gig worth of music videos and the slap across there. It's going to take a while, so I'm going to come back in 10 minutes and we're going to see what's well, we're going to put some music on after that. So come back and it's like the same thing for music drag and drop all your mp3s into the enclosure and then just let it copy over and once you've put all the data that you need into your external enclosure you hook your hard drive up to the PS3 like so and then you turn your PS3 on and the rest is just self-explanatory really so that's how you set up your external enclosure.